The truth is that a good movie will always be made better when you have really good sound. And when you're videotaping or making a movie, it is always better to use a separate sound system. In other words, sync the sound later. Right now, I am not using a separate sound system. I'm using a Rode microphone on top of a Canon SO3. Now, the thing is, it's only about three feet away, so in fact, it may work. If I get beyond three feet, maybe four, five, six, seven, ten feet away, then you can tell the difference and it's not going to work as well. So, in making uh, movies, the thing to do is to do your sound on a separate system. It, you'll always be worth it. So many movies, great movies, were even greater because of the sound. Jaws, for example. Twister. I mean, those movies were very, very good. But the sound made them even better. Don't you agree? Okay, so... Today I'm testing out the Rode microphone and it's about 10 feet away from me. It's outdoors and um, what I want to know is whether or not I could in fact use this microphone for nature videos. Um, most of the time, I think most videos that I shoot um, are about this distance, 10 maybe 12 feet away and if the, mo if the, <laughs> if the road microphone can work then that would save me an awful lot of time and energy and of course carrying heavy equipment so that's the purpose of the road microphone today um, that's my test for today you do know that there are limitations to everything now the camera is approximately 24 feet maybe 25 feet away from me and, of course, I'm talking, and I'm attempting to record on the camera using a Rode microphone. Now, this microphone is perhaps the least expensive microphone that Rode makes. And here's the interesting thing. It doesn't carry a battery. In other words, the microphone is powered by the camera. Isn't that interesting? Now, I, I think I have stretched its limitations. I don't really believe that this microphone can record from this distance. But it was worth a try anyway. The thing about a one-man operation is that you get super sensitive about everything. Every time I go out on a shoot, that involves somebody else. In other words, I have been commissioned to do something for someone else. I always get super nervous because insecurity set in. Do I have the right equipment? Am I able to do the job properly? Um, you know, things like that. So I, I get these little bits of insecurities and I wonder about things. When you're a one-man operation, feedback is extremely important because it's like writing. You may sit there and you may write a piece, for example, and you keep seeing the same mistakes over and over again, and you don't correct them. It's only later that you understand that you spelled walk, W-L-A-K, as opposed to W-A-L-K. Well, being a photographer is the same thing. 
there are 101 different things to worry about. And when you don't do what you're supposed to do, the errors show up very, very clearly. So that brings about the insecurity. See what I mean? I don't know if there's an artist anywhere who's, who is ever totally satisfied with his work or her work. Um, there may be some people like that, but I don't know anyone. I don't know a musician or an artist or anyone who is absolutely totally satisfied with the work performed. There is always something else that could have been done. But you know, it's like that little girl in Jamaica told me. She said, a lot of people don't do, do things because they think it's going to be a little thing, not realizing that a little thing could be a big thing to somebody else. So her argument is you should never, ever not do a, anything because it's a little thing. Do it anyway, even though it is small. <laughs> 